everyone. Today we are at Black House Grill in the corner and it's all about steaks. And as you can see, it's so beautiful behind me. And they just renovated the place and it's actually so beautiful. And it looks a little bit kind of like how we thought our flat to be. I'm pretty sure this is really close to the color we want. And I was thinking when we came here, because they're actually gifting us a meal and I thought it would be really cool to do a video. So we were thought we were just going to have Sunday roast, but they're like, no, we're giving you the sharing roast. And the sharing roast is a T-bone tomahawk steak. And I've never had that before. I don't think Ali has either. So he just went like this. <laughs> and it comes with all the trimmings. And you guys probably don't know, you might not know what a Sunday roast is, but it's a traditional British Sunday meal. And I don't know, I think people usually have it after they go to church or something or just to spend time with family. Usually it has mashed potatoes, roast potatoes, and like a roasted chicken or a roasted beef and um, carrots. It's basically kind of like... Yorkshire pudding. Huh? Yorkshire pudding. Oh wait, oh, I hope we get a Yorkshire it is pudding. On it, yeah. Guys, Yorkshire pudding is probably my favorite part. You guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about, especially because I know that everyone in the US, um, when we think of pudding, we think of like... The chocolate cup thing. Snacks, what are they called? The, the pudding cups. Yeah, the pudding cup. But pudding over here is basically just dessert, but the thing is, a Yorkshire pudding is not. It is savory and it's this basket of yum pastry. It's not a basket, it's a basket pastry. You'll see what I mean in a sec. I don't know how to describe them, but they are my favorite part and they're crispy and you just show all your gravy in it and your mashed potatoes usually. But today, I think what comes with the Sunday roast is um, carrot sweet mash, which I don't, I've never had before, but it sounds amazing. Butter trimmed cabbage, beef drippings, potatoes, oh, beef dripping potatoes, homemade Yorkshire puddings, served with proper gravy. I don't know what proper gravy is, but I'm really excited. And it comes with the steak, so very, very excited about that. And I think I'm gonna try the smoked haddock fish cake. I know we're having a lot of food, but I do like a fish cake, so I'm really excited for that. It's breakfast for us. I always have dessert. to have like cereal or yeah, ba like usual br like breakfast food. So looking forward to this, and we will show you everything as it comes. So what did we just ask for? So I love gravy. I can drink gravy <laughs> like by the bucket load. <laughs> so that's for extra gravy and extra Yorkshire pudding because that's like our other favorite thing. Yeah. So you guys get to see four Yorkshire puddings. I'm, I'm concerned about the size. I'm wondering if it's going to be like the big It's going to, it, babe, have you not, oh. I've not seen both of them. I haven't either. We should have thought about this. <laughs> But, we have like a, a dinner plate <laughs> So we have this whole table and we've asked them to slice our beef for us because you we'll guys you guys know us. We are gonna destroy the poor thing. So are you excited? How do you feel? Hungry, tired, but excited. Yeah. <laughs> We just brought out, or they just brought out my haddock cake. Is it fish cake? Just fish cake or haddock cake? I just I smoked haddock um, cake. It smells very lemony. I wish I remember what it said it had with it, but all this looks amazing. That's probably tartar sauce, I would think, right? Well, I don't know about the green stuff. Probably. That'll just be maybe it looks like Tesla. So we've got this watercress on it. I just want to taste the cake on its own. Let's try this. <laughs> I tried. I think you would like this too. Really? Mm -hmm. It's a slight fishy taste though at the end, so I'm gonna try it. Yeah. You like it? It tastes like Colin's game, which is like a soup that's like smoked powder um, chowder. It's good. It's really good. Okay, we're just gonna chow down on this for a bit. <laughs> wow, you managed. Wasn't well, that bad this time. I give it a nine. Mm -hmm. Best fish cake, fish cake you've had? Yeah, the best fish cake I've Probably because it's the, the smoked haddock. Mm. It just tastes nicer. Mm. It's like more mammy. Very happy about this. We're just gonna keep eating. Can we be to see our steak? Gloria took all the pesto. I didn't, there's more. And then you pushed it into it. No. As you can see, that was amazing. And it definitely did have potatoes and like little spices. I think most of the flavor comes from the smoked fish. Yeah, it's That's amazing. 
and the potatoes in it as well. If we've got some new cutlery, so that can only mean that our steak is coming out and soon. Knives. Which means it is. Oh! Ooh. Get excited about knives, guys. Ooh! Look at that. Yum! <laughs> Thank you. extra gravy and an extra grocery pudding. I think Ali and I might have to split one. But have a look at this steak. Oh my gosh. But look at this. Oh, look at that juice, juicy beef. Would Justin approve the marbling? I think Justin would approve the marbling. We'll probably get a comment, a text of it. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it looks all right. Right now, what I'm gonna do is just try a piece of the beef with a little bit of the gravy on it. Do you want the bone? Do I want the bone? <laughs> actually, the bone might have some really lean beef on it. Yeah. I'll actually try a piece. If only Mox was here. I know. Yeah. So I'm just gonna try a piece of the bone. Mm. Really good, I'm gonna try a potato. That's really nice too. I've never actually tried sweet and carrot mash, so I'll try that actually. It's good, right? Yeah. It's kind of like mashed turnip, mashed potato, mm. mashed carrot. I'm going to show you what we do with your puddings. You put a bit of beef in it, you put your gravy in, and you drown it usually. Um, and then you eat from it, but for the sake of this, I'm going to get one giant bite with all of this. <gasps> Goodness. Does it, does it look good? Yeah, I'm so hungry. Okay, don't worry, you'll get to eat soon, babe. Now we're gonna get a bit of Yorkshire pudding, a little bit of beef. Why did I do this to myself? <laughs> Hold the plate. <laughs> All that together is the best. And I feel so bad for Ali because he hasn't had any yet. I'm so hungry. The food's been out for like six minutes. So no one I'm hasn't. Good. I've been but... recording this for four minutes. Oh, okay, well, I'm gonna let Ali eat, but I'm giving this a nine and a half. Those three things together was just so great. I'm gonna actually fill my plate and then show you guys what it should look like on a regular old Sunday roast. to show you guys my last bite, a gigantic bite. Ready? Really? Yes. I and I hardly order anything that's beefy. We get something and they do it right, it's amazing. We're very happy with this one. Although I don't really like fatty bits of meat. I like leaner meat, so that's why I'm like not the most adventurous. You guys know I'm not that adventurous. But it was really good today, and I'm really happy that we had this. So we just finished. I feel like I could take a nap for about five hours. <laughs> Um, but it's not over because we know that you guys like sweets and I don't and Ali does so what we're doing is ordering a <laughs> sticky toffee pudding which is it's a Scottish is it Scottish or is it just British? I think it's I'm not actually sure. Yeah, I'll look it up and I'll you let check. you guys know right here. Ali loves it. It's probably one of his favorites. So we're gonna have that. As long as it doesn't some have raisins. I'm hoping it doesn't have raisins. We didn't ask. I don't think it does. No. Our sweet foods connoisseur, Alistair, is going to have his sticky toffee pudding. Are there raisins in it? I don't think so. <laughs> so it's good? I you love it. No, I won't. No. It's not. Is it warm? It's warm. Let's try it. Honestly. Okay, guys, I'm the type of person who's like, nah, about sweet or warm puddings. You like but it? For Ali, I'll try a tiny bit. Eh, it's got the syrup on the bread. You you want syrup on it? 
but I don't. You do. I want hot Cheetos no. like off my lasagna. That was really nice. Have some, with, have some of the sauce. I did. It's all the sauce. No, just, just get a bit. This get a bit with sauce. No, a decent amount. Come on. That's decent. See. See yourself. Freaking pick eater over here, and you picky over the good things. That's really yummy. <laughs> Let's just watch Ali eat for the next five minutes. <laughs> Ali demolished his sticky toffee pudding. So we go through the ratings already. For me, I love the atmosphere in here. As you can probably tell and by the noise, it's really busy in here now. I just like to be really early to everything. <laughs> so, and Ali doesn't like that, but whatever. To her, I'd give the atmosphere a 10. It's that nice in here. It's very friendly. The service, I would give a 10 as well. They were very attentive. And you can see that they're going around to everyone around us, so they care. Atmosphere 10, service 10, and the food I would give a nine and a half because it was amazing. But of course, there's, I guess, for me, this is just my preference. It has nothing to do with obviously the restaurant, but I don't really like fatty food. Um, so if there was, if it was, I, I don't know, can you get like better cuts that don't have? It just depends on the type of, yeah, of meat. Yeah, if it was a different steak, it would have been a 10, I think. Um, the chewing was nice. <laughs> I loved how it tasted with the green. The Yorkshire puddings were amazing. Um, I love the potatoes, and then surprisingly, I loved the cabbage sweet and carrots. It was so good and it made me feel like I, you know, was eating vegetables, even though I was, but it wasn't in a way that was like this disgusting, do you know what I mean? I guess overall, this place is at about a 9.75. Let me average that. I'm gonna pull a mic chin. I really like it in here. I like the kind of style of it. I think when we came in, even though it was like quiet, it was still kind of like the music playing. Mm -hmm. And we kind of welcoming welcome people where it was really nice. Um, I like how bright it is as well. So, what would you give a rating? 10. You give it a 10? Yeah. What about the service? 10. Again, yeah, everyone's like super friendly, always making sure you've got what you need. Um, we had a few weird requests, like extra gravy. <laughs> I don't think that's a weird request. Food. What would you give? I would say same as you, 9.75. Because again, well, that's like, overall score. I think, like I said, we don't usually have steak or beef. I loved all of it, but for me, I just don't like fatty meats, and that's just about the, my preference. So yeah, it's not really anything on their side. It was good. The, steak, the meat was incredible. Yeah, it was one, nice one and juicy as meats, well. One of the best meats. I've had. <laughs> one of the best meats. Meats, yeah, <laughs> just meats generally. Well, thank you, baby. 9.83. Oh. So I'll give them a 9.8. Very good here. You guys definitely try it out. And we really enjoyed it. So thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much to the girl in the corner for giving us a freaking tomahawk steak. Very much appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great day. See you in the next one. Bow.